What's up everybody? It's me James again with another video. In this video, we're going to I'm going to show you a really cool knife and I'm going to have a little bit of uh, information about it. So check it out. This is the Albers Cutlery Company. And before we get into it, I'd like to ask if you could like this video for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe because I notice 80% of people who watch these videos are not subscribed. So please subscribe so I can make good content and continue making these for you. All right, so Albers Cutlery Company. That's what I'm gonna talk about today. Um, I checked these, uh, I found these things on the internet. I was just searching knife makers, you know? And so I, I discovered this Albers guy, you know? And so the history is, well, first of all, look how good this packaging is. This is really awesome super nice looking packaging very awesome high quality and you'll see this thing's high quality to the end all right so open it up get some tissue paper keep it from moving around put it right there it comes with a nice little slip Check this guy out. Now, isn't that a beautiful knife? Look how shiny that bone is. I mean, this thing is super nice. This steel is CPM 154 stainless, which I love. I love that. Get a good close up here. Look how centered this blade is. got zero gaps you want to talk about a knife that's comparable to GEC this is it and the reason why this is a one-man operation this is a one-man operation knife look at this nail neck it's got a nice nail neck real deep got the walk and talk of a champion beautiful beautiful bomb shield this thing is top notch so this is albers cutlery all right so a little backstory about this um canal street cutlery i believe was founded on three or four people and he was one of them i believe like i said i don't do i didn't do a lot of research on this i just kind of gathered enough to make a slightly entertaining video so canal street and then they would make knives you know but there was apparently there was somebody died or hard times came about the company and they shut down um and uh basically oh yeah and these these are pin shields these are pin shields um so then a couple years later canal street came back as like a co-op thing with a knife reseller or wholesaler and they were making um i know they were making red the, the red trout brand i've seen that online so apparently things weren't going so good. So in 2020, they kind of decided to quit again. So uh, the one guy, Albert, he decided, I seen on uh, some forum, I'm not a member of it, I just lurk on it. But he you know, came out and said, hey, I'm gonna be a one man operation, blah, blah, blah. And he's just gonna make a couple of knives a month. So kind of seen what came out and I missed the first few uh, drops. And it's kind of like you buy direct from him. And uh, I missed the first few drops. I signed up to the email list. So if you guys want to sign up to that email list, you got to go to alberscutlery.com. That's A-L-B-E-R-S cutlery.com. And you can sign up on that email list so you can catch these drops. Because that's what you need to do to get one of these. And this is a GEC quality knife. I'm dead serious. So, very beautiful knife. So that's kind of the little story about that. Now, I brought this out. This is a K-Bar Coppersmith, and I have been told over and over again that these are made by Canal Street. So I figured, why not bring it out um, to show y'all, you know, just kind of what we have here. It is a knife video, so. But I figured I'll put this down here just because these might have been made by the same people. I think this was when the original Canal Street, before they were, you know, they, they shut down originally the first time. But they were making these for K-Bar, from what I was told. 
and I also have this. Now I'm not exactly sure if this trapper is made by Canal Street or not, but um, they're the same coppersmith. But I, I have been told the Barlow's are definitely Canal Street cutlery knives. So, but yeah, so this guy, man, he did the, he followed his dreams and he has his own knife thing. Now he only makes a few knives and they go super quick. Um, they're like a GEC drop I've noticed, you know? And uh, so I just, like I said, I signed up the email lists and um, it, when it dropped, it dropped, you know? So this is a really cool knife. If you compare it to this Barlow, which is about the same size as like a case Barlow, maybe slightly bigger. You can see that the they're about the same. Little, this one's a little bit longer, a little bit narrower. Um, doesn't have the Barlow uh, bolster. And it has a shield, so it's kind of like a boy's knife, if you will. And uh, it's really, really nice. The centering is awesome. No gaps, and the polish is above um, good. It, it's just... I just it's amazing how shiny this is it looks almost like it's made of plastic instead of bone that's how shiny it's really cool let's listen to this walk and talk that's pretty good this thing has a great snap to it it's amazing so awesome knife the super awesome knife let's do some measurements on this yes and it does have half stops the blade spring on the half stop you're looking at is like flush closed it's flush open it's flush this thing is this is the, it exceeds all ex all expectations i've had for this knife and it's cpm 154 so you don't have to worry about it rusting which i i greatly like pull out this measuring tape here this knife is three slightly over three and a quarter inch almost three and a half inches open we are looking at from end to end mm, right at about six inches honestly that's about six inches right there so six inches fully open that's pretty awesome. Like I said, this is a great piece. Now, they had several to choose from. They had like a blue bone that I, I was going to get, but then I seen this and I was like, I like this. And I thought, man, these things are gonna go quick. I can't make that decision. You know, I gotta pick one. So hopefully I grab another one of these with the next drop. And I advise you guys, if you're interested in these things, to go to alberscolory.com and join that e email list because you, you want to get on that list in order to get one of these things. I haven't seen them on secondary market either, so it's pretty cool um, that they're not there. Uh, people are buying them and keeping them, and they deserve to be used because awesome. We've got a beautiful swedge here. Look at that swedge. Now, these are made by one guy. This ain't a factory. This is one dude making knives that are like semi-production. Um, Two-sided swedge. Beautiful. Oh, by the way, this thing was like one of the sharpest knives I've ever gotten out of the box. Um, Kershaw makes some sharp knives out of the box. This thing blew Kershaw away. This thing was hair popping sharp, okay? Hair popping sharp. Beautiful. Just absolutely wonderful knife. This thing is, like I said, these things are awesome. Uh, what else can I say? Uh, you guys subscribe they have like a blue one i've seen a blue one they had i was going to get that one so if they drop another blue one i'm going to try to get it um i believe he made one out of some mammoth bone too but yeah check it out alberscutlery.com i told you this one's going to be real special to me because it's got that cpm 54 steel i love that steel and it's basically like ats 34 it's like an american made ats 34 which i really like queen used that metal on a lot of their um file and wire series and i loved it so to me it takes an edge um like carbon steel but retains it like d2 um so the ease of sharpening is like carbon it retains the edge like d2 and it's stainless like 420 or something you know so to me it's like the perfect steel just wonderful the jigging on this it's just absolutely wonderful it's just a gorgeous knife all around
just looking at like custom quality the, the guy puts so much pride in this work you know it's great to see so i can't wait to get a few more of these and every time i do get one of these things i'm going to definitely make a video about it each and every time so awesome guys like i said if you like this video subscribe i would took some pictures but it's raining out here today so it's you know i didn't so anyway it's not a live video either if you noticed um but yeah i won't plan on doing a couple more live videos and uh like I said, like and subscribe to this video if you can. Share it with your knife friends. Because, you know, why not share the knife porn, what it is. And let's see. Anything else I got to say? Ah, uh, I got some cool stuff in the works. Um, cool stuff. I have some reviews coming. Uh, should be soon, hopefully. Um, you'll stick around for that, hopefully. Like I said, subscribe. And I got some cool things in the works. I got another video coming up soon on a, another awesome, very historic knife. Um, people made videos. It's gonna, not going to be, you know, it's not going to be, you know, anything you probably haven't seen before. But it's my turn to make a video. So, all right. Yeah, I mean, why not? So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. hope you love this knife and all of its beauty. It is a beautiful one. Look how center that blade is no gaps just perfect love it so hey everybody thanks again for watching see you next time bye bye